Maybe they're gonna nerf it to a two mana one one. Yeah, great nerf. That's a buff. Make it ten mana, sure. I mean, this card should be at least eight mana or something with the mechanic. You know, Tokvogel did kind of the same, right? It was eight mana. So yeah, I have uh, good hopes and oh my god, GM this week was so dumb, guys. Like I lost to the to the aggro priest mainly two games because of Illusia. And then uh, actually Gaby lost exactly the same way. It was so dumb to watch. Oh my god. I'm just gonna keep doing my best in Grandmasters, guys. I will keep doing my best. There are three weeks left, but it's not looking great. But I'm just gonna keep doing my best and uh, I hope I can get as far as I can. I'm still in an okay spot, but I'm not in a good spot. I'm at the moment at a relegation spot. But I still have at least some decent points. So if I have a good week, I, uh, I will get out of there, I think. But we will see. I'm just going to keep doing my best. The last two weeks were really dumb. Last week as well, I won. I got out of the group. I just got completely wrecked by my draw. This week again, I'm just facing the complete nuts from Priest three games in a row. And I lost in like 10 minutes. That was not fun to play. So I just hope we can get some Hearthstone to play. And uh, it's going to pay off. We will see. To, to the not next excuse, it's not an excuse, it's just a frustrating meta sometimes. I'm just getting a uh, very... Sometimes you are in the flow guys and it doesn't matter whatever you do, you win. And sometimes whatever you do, it's just... You're not really getting out of it what, uh, what you want or what you deserve. Maybe I don't deserve it, but I will just keep fighting. All right, so um, what are we going to play today, chat, for lettering? Priest? No, I don't want to play Priest. Illusia Priest. It's probably a really good deck to letter, chat. So there is a lot of like very fast kind of Warlock decks now, which are looking pretty fun to play. Warrior. Wait, there is Warrior in the game? Oh, it's still in the game, yeah, you're right. Hmm. I definitely like the Rot inclusion, especially for lettering. What do you guys think of this card? I saw quite some people playing with it. Doesn't feel that great, but maybe it's worth a try. Maybe Thompson is just a little bit awkward, guys, now because um, you make your spells cost zero very often and Thompson is useless. I think something like this is that way to go, chat. I think I like the rot. I mean, some people are even cutting Battle Master, but I think I still want Battle Master. Let's give this a try. Put Cobra in? Why? Why do you guys want the Cobra? I mean, you can cut Battle Master. People will play around it, right? I guess it wins you the Rogue matchup sometimes a little bit more, but. What if we do it like this? Do you guys want Viper? I will try Viper. But there's not that much. I mean, even in a mirror, if you just if you destroy a rod, it's pretty good, right? Tess, you are still playing this children's card game. Wax Eye. This is a, ga a game that is made uh, or that you can play as a child, but this is also a play you can play as an adult. Hearthstone is for everyone. Casper. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is an oh yes hand. 
Tight PG stream when? Uh, we will see. If I'm getting bored today of Constructed, I will probably play some BGs. But if I'm just having fun, I will probably stick to Constructed. I still really enjoy Constructed. Sometimes I just get a little bit bored. I think, guys, I was thinking about it. Why am I getting bored? And I was thinking about it. And I think it's mainly because I kind of already play 7 years of Hearthstone almost every day. I think that's why. And I think that's pretty normal. That you then sometimes have days where you're like, maybe you have that feeling. I don't think it's a strange feeling. Road to top 200. Let's go. Let's go, Flixy boy. Nine. Aye, aye, aye. It's fine. So what we can do is play the tour guide. We tap. We play the penta. Haha. -ha. I still draw lol. Tick, tick. Tick, tick. Uh, Mogrito, how are you doing there today? Thank you for the sub. Ty's microphone so loud. Is it? Giants. This one has only one discount, so we play this one. This one is two discounts, so if he plays Cult Neophyte, which he has there from the Raise Dead, it's pretty good. Thais, do you think this is the worst meta as far as punishing experimental off meta decks? So seems there is no room for meme decks at all. Uh, the problem is the quests. The quests, like whatever meme deck you play or like experimental deck, if it is anything control, you just lose to quest decks. Quest de quests are made to win the game once the quest is completed. So when the warlock quest is completed, you can't win in fatigue. When the shaman quest is completed, there's no way you win the value board game. When the mage quest is completed, you're gonna die. The, it's just how the, the quests are made, it just punishes any experimental Mimi deck. Blah 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 ties. Why are you blah blah blahing me? More bones to die. I can play a giant now. Or do we kick bait? Nah, when you can jam the giant like this, you jam it, right? 11 left, they are 1 mana soon. <laughs> Next turn, Tapa completes the quest. Hey, G from testing, putting the ties please in. Wait, what was he on? 4 7, oh, okay. That's a good way of completing. So he played a raise that and a backfire. I played two backfires, so basically. Quest way we're doing the same way. Why not Thompson in this deck? Because I think you have a lot of problems with Thompson because your shadow spells often become zero with the weapon, and then Thompson doesn't work. But I'm not sure about it. It's a test. Hmm. 
I'm thinking, is it better to discard more cards, guys? Or not? I can do Soul Rant, Drain Soul, but I can also start Drain Soul, Soul Rant, and we discard two cards. Hmm. I mean, we need to get raised, that's right, that's important. Otherwise, our quest completion is going to be very slow. I think we'll do it like this for now. We go face, by the way. You never trade there, in my opinion. At least, my mind is on face. Tess, what is your favorite deck this expansion? Morning from uh, Chile. My favorite deck this expansion. I mean, to be honest, this Barlock deck is very cool. It's very strong, but very cool. Thais, do you have uh, plans to bribe Bunny Hopper just to progress in GM? No. But Bunny Hopper is drawing the nuts against me, man. I faced Bunny Hopper twice and he's just getting the nuts. It's not funny. I think I'm gonna sue him if he's gonna do that one more time. I mean, you can high roll, but what he is doing is not nice at all, guys. Okay. I mean, one drain soul, I killed a giant. So he's at 5 8? So 7 8. Ooh. It's too late. And I'm at 0 8. Oh my god. So we do this. Three, five, six, seven. I need to raise that. Okay, that's what I needed. Nice. Cool. Okay, I didn't discard raise that. That was important. So I can't even complete the quest. I don't really... Oh, I still have two Bristlebacks. So I have a, I have a lot of removal, actually. They were amazing discards. Um, Drain Soul is an option. Just play the removal game here. Mm, not sure if you dot top decks raise that. I can build a wall, but not a big wall. But I have double, double bristleback left at least. I mean, he can just tap right. Yeah, he's gonna tap and complete. Ah, chat. So he has double um, soul red left. He has one, one mana six six left. I'm not sure if I should have done what I just did, guys. That drain soul. Maybe I, I think two minions playing there was pretty good. Even though I leave up a six one. I guess he could just do blood shard there. It's fine, right? This is fine. Why is Ty so loud? Am I lou louder than normal chat? But the most important question, who asked? I think we do this to play around. Um... To, 
to play around uh, Sol Rind here. And we also put them in the Sol Rind. Hmm, let me check. Wait, why is the gain like that? Is it better now, guys? Or is this... No, this is the way it works, right? Hmm. This should be fine. I think it's when I'm getting too close to the mic. We have a bit of an uh, inefficient way of completing the quest. I mean, that was likely to happen, but I didn't want to get soul rendered there. I think soul rend was way worse. He might still soul rend now, I guess. He's not soul rending. Oh, he is. Ooh. Uh, there's another one. I think we start raise that, right? I don't think we have the time to top. We just need to see what we get. We need to get a uh, bristle back. Okay. So he has another soul rent left. I know that. Wait. Wait. Was it maybe better to do this? So what does he have left? He has a soul red left, a touch left. Probably a null left. Did I have to do this, guys? I don't think so. Yeah, I did. Too. 6 HP is too annoying. But I kind of hate that I didn't tap there. Guys, I heard news you were playing Hots off stream yesterday. Is that true? That is true, Sileo. Who shared that information? I How much is he in fatiguing? Hmm. So he should soul rent here, then he's gonna touch. But his null is a dead card. Oh, he's playing null to get null value. And now he's gonna soul rent, okay. And he's gonna touch right, yeah. So he has the question mark card left that I don't know. I should know. If he's playing this it can be the Wind Fury. Oh it's the it's the flex spot he has left. So it's either Wind Fury or Viper or something interesting. So next turn I take three plus four plus two. How much is that? Three plus four plus two. It's nine. Dish, 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 dish. Going right. And he takes four to five, so he takes 11. So if I deal six damage from the board, I win. If his last card, guys, is indeed win free. Oh, it's a race that card. Oh. So it's just a random minion, probably a tour guide or a cult. We won? This match was actually very skillful.